Hey guys, it's Nautica and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make my U-part wigs. So right here I'm just showing you how I outline my leave out. When making my wigs, I do like to double my tracks for fullness and so that I can possibly fit most of the bundles on. When starting, I like to start a little behind the ear and if your wig cap has an elastic band on it, you want to make sure you sew above it so that you'll be able to adjust the cap if it needs to be tighter. time I go through the weft is when I'm starting or ending a track. When sewing the rest of the hair down, I like to go under the track and you'll see me doing this throughout the video. tracks so once I get ready to flip the tracks I split them apart and sew the bottom track down first followed by the top one and this just helps the tracks lay flat and prevent the tracks from being bulky Once I run out of the thread, I make sure I knot it a couple times, then I start back sewing right where I left off.
Okay, so right here I am at the end of the first bundle and I'm showing you how I go through the weft and sew it down to the cap to secure it. Starting a new bundle, I start right where I finished the last bundle so there's no noticeable gaps in the hair. Once I get to the top, I don't double the tracks because I want the hair to lay as flat as possible.
I reach the markings on one side of the head, I like to line the track up with the markings on the other side of the head so when I'm finished, everything will lay flat. And right here, you can see my U forming. finish my U there's a big gap left instead of sewing from ear to ear like I've been doing I'm gonna sew from the forehead to the middle of the head if that makes any sense continue sewing from forehead to the middle and this is what the finished wig looks like. I forgot to record me cutting the lace off but I basically cut the side flap off and cut down the middle where my part is. This is what the hair looks like in its natural air dry state. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.